Sambaidi. Welcome back with Cooking with Nana. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Lao dishes called Om Hoi. In English, we would call snail stew. So my in main ingredients that I have, you have to have snail. So I found this at Asian store in my local area. So they have it in a package. It's in a freezer like this. They boil it already. They have lemongrass and stuff in here. But um, I will show you how I clean it before I cook it. And then my other ingredients, I have kefalam leaf by Kihud, and pepper, chili pepper, fresh chili pepper, red shallot on hua pok bua dang, and lemongrass hua sing kai, and have some stock and smash it. And then I have some vegetable oil, any oil you prefer. This is like a two tablespoon. And my badak is two tablespoon. MSG is one um, tablespoon. It's option. You don't want um, MSG. You don't have to. And then some salt, just in case I need to add more salt to it. And then this is soak stick rice. I soak this rice to make it soft, to um, so I can use it to make it um, make the broth thick. And then pak. Elud. If you cannot find pak elud at your store, you can use um, holy basil or um, dill that you have. But I have this in my garden. So if you find someone that um, sells this fresh, oh, that's good. But here it's hard to find it fresh. See, they have lemongrass and stuff. So I'm going to rinse it in my warm water. out okay um, if you have a fresh one you soaked it overnight with uh, your rice that you soak already and then the tip of this use your knife to kind of like that like that so I'm gonna continue doing that and then that will Show the next step. So I'm going to smash the herb. I'm just going to have the lemongrass. Okay. And the chili. I have probably six chili, but if you want to do less than that, it's up to you. But then I like a little bit spicy in it on mine. Okay. I'm going to smash this first before I add the shallot. If you don't have the pastel motor, you don't um, need, um, you can use the blender to blend it. So now I'm going to add my red shallot in here also to smash it. Smash it until it's all, um, you know, all of them are smashed and stuff. Okay, so I smashed all of them already. Okay, so I'm gonna go fry this. Okay, I'm gonna add my oil in here. And then my. I'm gonna throw the lemongrass stock and pepper lime leaf here to get the aroma out from here first. I'm gonna later add the now. Okay. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna go smash my rice. So I'm gonna use my um, pesto motor to um, smash. My rice, like I said, you can use the blender also, but since I already have this mash already, I'm just gonna use it. You try to break the rice to smooth as much as you can. So I got it. I got it brown, and the aroma of the herb and stuff came out. Okay, now I'm gonna throw my snail in here. I 
I only found two packs. If I, um, they only have two packs left because they say um, a lot of people have gone, come and buy some from them. So lucky I found only two bags of it to show you guys how we do honey. Um, get the aroma in the smell for a few minutes or so, then I will add um, some water. Okay, I'm going to add MSG in here. It's an option. If you don't want MSG, you don't have to. And the bag. Some water. That's one cup. Two cups. I'm going to do three cup, three cup of water because I don't have too much snail. So I just, you know, just to cover a little bit on top of it. Okay. And then I am going to cover it, let it cook for, for a little bit. Oh, you know what? I'm going to add my salt, uh, my M1. Um, teaspoon, one tablespoon of salt. Okay, I'm gonna cover it, let this cook, and then I will add my rice and the um, the vegetable pak um, pak ilut at the end. Okay, the soaking rice that I smashed, add in there. I just oh, nam kon khao mat tit yuni. This is to thick, thick your sauce. I'm gonna cover, let it cook for five minutes, so because I want it to be a little bit more, and let the rice cook. Once it's been five minutes cooking, because, and I'm gonna throw pot blood, just cut, cut it, even the stem, put in there, because you get the aroma of the herbs in, okay. I don't have green onions to throw in here, but whatever I have right now at home, this is what I'm using. Okay, shut it off. Once you shut it off, I'll, this is what I like to do. I like to let it get the steam, shut it off, let it sit there for five minutes again, but just turn it off and then you and then it's ready to serve. So I remember I said the last part, I let it cover for five minutes and oh my God. You guys, look at this. You can smell the herb and stuff. Okay, see how um the rice make it sticky, uh, make it cre um, creamy. Okay, you put it in a bowl. This one, they sell it um, smaller than this too. But it's, <laughs> I found this at the Asian stores that oh, I have to do this because this is, one of my mom's favorite thing okay and then ooh, okay I'm gonna taste the mmm if you have sticky rice oh my god I'm deep in here I don't have sticky rice to show you guys but this is what you do take this hoy okay be careful my heart 
we would do it, man. They say, suck it. <laughs> Cheers. If, if it doesn't come out, use a toothpick. Right there. Poke it. Mmm. And you put it in your mouth. Mmm. So good, guys. Yeah. I don't have rice, but this is it. Mm. One more time. Okay. I like the juice in there, but have to be careful. It's hot. Okay. This is the om hoi that my mom have pass this on to me so I'm here showing you guys how to do this and in English we would say snail stew mother mother mm -hmm. bye